Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to replace the front wheel bearings and brake rotors on an 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser. I bought this Land Cruiser in early 2018 and I drove it around for a while and one day the front left wheel uh, fell off while I was driving. A few of the wheel studs sheared clean off. Um, I think it was to do with the fact that the car was fitted with Nissan Patrol rims and this is a known issue when fitting this particular model of rim to uh, both patrols and Toyota Land Cruisers. When the wheel came off, the brake rotor hit the ground and left a deep gouge in the road and also left a big flat spot on the bottom of the rotor. Start by jacking up the front of the truck and placing axle stands under the front axle so the weights spread evenly. Once the truck's up on axle stands, you can remove the front left wheel. Remove the two 17mm bolts holding on the brake caliper and move it to the side. You can hang it with an Oki strap, just make sure you don't bend the brake hose too much otherwise it will kink. Remove the dust cap from the end of the spindle and take off the circlip that's on the end of the axle. Loosen the six nuts on the end of the hub and don't remove them yet because they've got cone washers behind them. The best way to remove them is to loosen the nuts till they're right on the end of the thread and get a metal punch and hit the end of the thread with the metal punch and a hammer. The cone washers will eventually come loose and you won't lose them this way. Once the nuts and cone washers are removed, the hub plate should come straight off. Bend the tabs on the locking ring so they're out of the way and then remove the first hub nut with a 54mm hub socket. Remove the second hub nut. Once both hub nuts have been removed, slide the rotor and hub assembly off the axle. Remove the six bolts holding the hub assembly to the rotor. For me, this was the most time consuming part as they just wouldn't budge. The only reason I separated the rotor and hub assembly was for the bolts. I'm gonna reuse the bolts on the new rotor and hub. This is my replacement hub assembly. Since it's second hand, I've degreased the whole lot and cleaned it out with rags. I also cleaned up the mating surface that will touch the brake rotor as it had a bit of surface rust on it and it's just a good idea to clean it. I used a wire wheel mounted on a drill. Bolt the new hub assembly onto the new brake rotor. It's time to fit the wheel bearings. Take the inner wheel bearing and pack it with grease. You can do this by putting grease in the palm of your hand and rolling the roller bearings over it until grease is forced out. Press the inner wheel bearing into the hub assembly by hand. Pack the outer wheel bearing with grease and insert it into the hub. Install the hub seal by placing it on the end of the hub and using a drift such as a piece of timber and a mallet to um, drive it into the hub. Careful not to bend it. Clean the spindle using rags and then add a bit of wheel bearing grease to the spindle as well. Slide the hub and rotor assembly back onto the spindle. Install a new inner hub nut, a locking ring and the outer hub nut. Bend the tabs on the locking ring to prevent the hub nut coming loose. Reinstall the hub plate using the six cone washers and nuts. Remember to replace the seal on here as well, otherwise grease will leak out. Spread the caliper pistons by compressing them with a G clamp. Refit the brake caliper using the two 17mm bolts. Install a new circlip and reinstall the dust cap on the end of the spindle. And that's how you replace your front rotors, hub and wheel bearings on an 80 series Land Cruiser.